of NRail. My name is J.M. Godori. I'm the producer of the NRail channel on YouTube. Well, I'm John Wallace, president of NRail. And guess where we are? We're in Danville, Virginia. And we are at the 20th edition of the Danville Rail Days, commemorating the wreck of the old 97. It happened in 1903, commemorated in 2003, and N-Track was invited to participate in this commemoration by putting on a layout. And what you see before you is the latest edition of that N-Track layout. And we are part of the Eastern End Lines, connected by N-Track since 2003. Right. Talk about tradition, right? That's right, yeah. And, the, and we're what, six, seven clubs that bring modules to, to this layout. And uh, uh, it works out pretty well. We've got a nice layout this year. And we need to point out that the layout you see behind us is an N-Track 2.0 layout. Which what does that been, mean? Well, essentially it's DCC, designed for DCC, designed for operations, and it gets rid of the rectangular pit. How do we get rid of the rectangular pit? Well, by using junction modules and balloon modules. Is this one of those balloon this modules? Is, yeah, this is a balloon module. In between the balloon modules, we just use normal N-Track modules, yes. with one exception. You must have the mountain division. Must have the mountain division. Yes. We, we go high and we go low. We yep. have rises and we have falls. falls yep. And obviously, one of the things that we've included and incorporated, insisted upon, in fact, is that all N-Track operators have the opportunity to either join the parade of trains continuously running, or because we've got so many operational possibilities, mm -hmm. you could go on a designated side track, a spur track, maybe the blue line is designated mm -hmm. as a drill track to do operations without impeding any of the parade of trains. And you've got m multiple routes to choose from, the junction modules, so you don't have to always go the same round and round the layout. We don't do a lot of roundy mm -hmm. round, even though the room might be a little bit round, we have taken it to the next level, which is why it's called 2.0. <laughs> right. right. So, so many things that are happening. Obviously, after 50 years of experience, we've learned a thing or two. And we got, you know, I'm telling you what, the future is going to be wild. Yep. We've got Fremo N members that are standing in here with us today. We've got T trackers that are with us here today. We've got people who've built some beautiful home layouts and club layouts. Mm -hmm. And uh, as you've seen some of those on the videos on YouTube, I'll tell you what you don't see, what you don't see in this room right now are vendors. You might even say this is an N-Track unconvention. <laughs> wow. We established train shows just for the benefit of N-Track runners without all the rills and the frills. That's nothing against conventions, by the way, because they are awesome. But it's also nice just to get together with our friends, isn't it? Right. Have dinner, maybe do some rail fanning. Oh, did I mention we're right next to Dan Station? Danville Station, and at least five or six trains a day are rolling by. So by the way, if you hear a train horn in the background and you say, train break and a bunch of guys go running, you will know why that is. You know, a few minutes ago, the northbound Crescent went through uh, Danville here, and it had one of the heritage locomotives on the front. All right, so why else are we doing this interview, recording from this location today? Well, it turns out that this is year 2022, mm -hmm. and in 1976, 76, yeah. what happened? Well, Jim Fitzgerald kitbashed some locomotives using mini trick chassis, and one of those locomotives was uh, a combination of two U30 CGs into a U60 CG named Cotton Brute. The yeah. Cotton Brute. Yeah. All right. That locomotive uh, has been restored to operating condition, and we're giving it its first test to the layout here this weekend. The Cotton Brute has been digitized. It's been digitized. Uh, it's been upgraded. It's uh, cosmetically restored as well as operationally. John, tell us, who has done all this work on the Cotton Brute? Well, we've got a member of the North Raleigh Montevideo Club called Larry Carr. Larry he's Carr. Done, he's done the work. He uh, does a lot of modeling like that. He's also into NN3. This is the year 2022, 
There's a little something going to happen next summer in 2023. Don, you want to tell us what's going on well, next, next year? Next year is the 50th anniversary of Amtrak. 50? 50. 50. We'll 50 be celebrating years. that at the National Train Show in August in Grapevine, Texas. Grapevine, Texas. 50 years of Amtrak. Wow. So Cotton Brew will be there. That's part of the show. Cotton Brew will be there. What else can we look forward to as the celebration un uh, winds itself up this well, year? Well, we're still, we're still working on some of the details. Okay. We've already put the design for the special car okay. into Microchain, so that's being special worked on. Car. But uh, the clinic, uh, stuff like that, the layouts at, uh, at the National Train Show. And again, we're still negotiating with NMRA for space. Okay. So, uh, it's coming along. It is coming along. It sounds like to me that for the 50 years of N-Track, we are probably going to be using the NRAIL channel, perhaps Zoom Track, perhaps our email and our website, nrail.org, to really unveil what 50 years of N-Track, now NRAIL, is all about. Yeah. Probably Cotton Brew is just a little part of that story. There'll probably be a lot more little pieces of story right. to be unveiled throughout the course of this year. As they say, watch this space. <laughs> Stay tuned. <laughs> All right, John. So I think that's going to wrap up our, our little introduction. Right. And uh, we're going to get back to running trains here at the Danville Rail Days. Yeah. I believe the future is very bright. What do you yeah. think, John? Well, you oh, get the yeah. last word here. Okay. Yes, the future is very bright. Uh, we're starting to make it uh, take advantage of technology. We have done DCC now. But we're starting to use the microcomputers like Arduinos and Raspberry Pis. We're starting to add lighting to a lot of the uh, modules. And so things are happening. Things are definitely happening. We're glad you are here and involved. But be be somebody who's always promoting our hobby, our scale, and NRAIL. Send them to nrail.org. It's easy to join up. It's only ten dollars a year. Super clubs only nine ninety nine dollars a year and so many benefits in the company store and then there's this all right great to see you all see you on the tracks right all right and action